interesting. There's a lot that's interesting about this book. Let me let me rephrase that. Um, one of the things that jumped out at me is the idea that even just boneless, skinless chicken breasts are in and of themselves kind of a convenience item, and you make the case for for buying a whole chicken and and cutting it up yourself. Yeah, it's a it's really interesting. It, um, it used to be that most chickens were sold whole, and it's really been a relatively recent phenomenon that you could get boneless, skinless chicken breast, and of course they charge a premium. But if you look at a package of chicken breast, and say, let's just say, hypothetically, it's they're seven dollars, they're about a pound, it's about a national average. Um, but if you go and look at a whole chicken, more more often than not, they're the exact same price. So you get the ju- you get the breast on the chicken; they come attached. It's amazing, <laughs> and then you get the rest of the chicken. So you get the you know all the legs and thighs and all that other stuff, and the rest of the carcass. And so. It doesn't take that long once you not learn how to cut up a chicken. To cut it up, you take off the breast. You know, you can braise, keep the thighs and legs. I actually freeze mine, and then I, I make a big pot of something like hokoven or braised mushroom or mustard chicken or something, and then use the bones to use to make chicken stock. And chicken stock averages about $2.25 a quart nationally, and so if you get two to four quarts of chicken stock out of that, then that is a great value because you're getting a lot of value for your money in terms of that $7 you would have just gotten a couple of chicken breasts. You're actually getting a lot more out of it. I think there's a secondary reason too, and I talk about that in the book, which is when you start with a whole chicken, you remember it was a chicken and you're less likely to waste it. And food waste is very, it's a very serious issue that we don't talk about enough in our country. And I think that by starting with whole foods and starting with something like a whole chicken where you waste less, that by itself can save you a lot because on average Americans waste about 30% of all of the food that they bring home.